Hello and welcome back for more blind let's play of The Witcher. Playing playing out the story of Geralt the Witcher. In the previous episode we saw the intro intro to the story and the character uh, I learned to fight drink potions uh, magic and uh, defeated one uh, one big mantis mantis and several bandits uh, one of the uh, one of the my companions rookie rookie witcher or wannabe witcher leo got killed the sorceress Triss got injured and uh, i'm now now continuing Continuing the story, let's see what what we have here. Vesemir here is a kind of a leader of the Witchers. Just that. Vitality regeneration swallow. Okay. And um, they once laid me down here. Okay, yeah, this is this is where the witches treated give, gave me medical treatment after after they found me. Found me. Uh, Geralt has lost his memory. Something something has happened. He's a skilled skilled and legendary witcher apparently, from what I've learned so far. And. Uh, Yeah, uh, apart from that, it's uh, all still new to me, and so I'm playing playing for the first time. Mosses and grasses, the smell is heady. So uh, let's let's continue the story. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morhen. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss'll hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Sure, no. Scroll icon. Press J. Quests. Yeah, maybe that maybe that Lambert guy isn't that bad after all. I didn't really like him in the in the the beginning. I sensed immediately that he uh, doesn't like Drissen. Uh, even that I don't remember it. I think there is a history between me and Driss. We'll probably find out more from that quests. Ocean for Triss. I need to see Lambert in the main hall of Kyr Morhen and find out how to brew the potion. Explore the fortress, make sure the others are alright. Very well. Is there anything here? Nope. Okay, let's go. What's here? Okay, this was the this was the place where I learned learned magic.
Princess Lambert. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Okay. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Ah, oh, white, white gull is alcohol. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. Prepare potions in meditation mode. Get the required ingredients first. Okay. I need to get some mineral and some alcohol to Lambert. That's what I'll do. Yeah, they all keep all keep referring to me as a as wolf. I don't remember anything about that. Some fish, some cutted fish, chicken sandwich, stout. Don't mind if I do dark beer. Visiman champion, a wild beer. Well, any beer is better than no beer. Flint. Stairs. Okay. Oh. It's fast, guy. Let's just fast dial. money but they have some graphics of the game. Yeah, it's it's good for a for a game of two three years old. Just the game options if I want to get rid of those messages. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's uh, related to the difficulty. An axe. 
this weapon cannot be used in combination with the Witcher combat styles. Witcher combat styles... Meaning those... Fast... Fast, strong group styles, maybe. Anti-Witcher pamphlet describes how ordinary people perceive witchers and recounts the story of Kaer Morhen's destruction. Yeah, I kind of kind of figured that not everyone likes the likes the witchers. The Marian Iron Dagger. Okay, the weapons weapons can only be placed in these slots. There are no like inventory inventory for weapons. Okay. Chance of critical effects bleeding. Why would I use Max or Decker? Use the combat styles. Well, maybe, maybe I'll figure it out. The frightener. The book discusses frighteners. Okay. Unknown potion. Small beer. Hey, that was the ingredient I was looking for. Health potions. I've done all that Lambert asked me to do. Bottled water, Christos endurance. like cherry that much but I'll take it it's beer base for blade coatings. Okay, so I can like probably create some poisons. and then get get it to her. Cool 
much milk bread. A lot of uh, bottle of water grindstone increases damage inflicted. Yeah, I need to make that potion for Triss and get it get it back to her, but I need to talk to Lambert. Lambert to learn how to do it. and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. I need to speak with Vesemir. Oh, that was a tough fight. I finished off several marauders upstairs. We might not have taken down the Frightener without you. Unfortunately, Triss had to get past Savola first, giving them time. They took almost everything, but the devices aren't most important. If I'd gone with her, I might have tended to Savola. Without you, the Frightener might have finished us. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Okay, I get an armor and sword. And yeah, that Frightener was kinda hard. I like died once. But anyway, uh Lambert gave me the formula. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Go to the courtyard. Get the claw. What? Ah! I received Witcher Steel Sword. No longer need to carry the trusty sword. Steel sword used to fight humans, ineffective against most monsters. And a studded leather jacket. Okay. Hey, yes, girl. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? Yeah, about these potions. What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. Alcohol. Oh, so yeah, that's that's why they get hangover from it. And I, I, I just love the voice of voice of this guy. Like, can you get any lower than that? You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. <laughs> Alright, I like you, Eskel. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. Mutation. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, 
like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Oh, that sounded a lot like... like Noble, instead of Neville. Uh, hmm. What's this... this uh, trial of the grasses? Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, and the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Okay, so the witchers are... are kind of drained, drained through this process. Process uh, like a special training and... Uh, and uh, using... using... Uh, potions and herbs to to uh, kind of modi modify their bodies bodies and apparently I've taken my my trial of becoming a witcher with this uh, Eskel guy quite a cut and the last stage I don't know the specifics it involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Okay. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. We'll talk later. Yeah, that... that taught me a lot about the witchers. Uh, I thought, thought the witchers were kind of uh, born, born this way or just just ordinary ordinary man but uh, with magical abilities from those stones but uh, so we are we are made made through this uh, this training training using using potions and and herbs to modify the body yeah in a, in a sense it uh, reminds reminds me a lot about uh, like uh, becoming a Jedi in the Knights of the Old Republic uh, being chosen and then training or the Grey Warden Grey Wardens uh, in Dragon Age this uh, the bad path that the Witcher must take is it's quite a lot of like the joining when you think about it. Yeah. Okay, but um, 
is considered to talk. Yes. To Vesemir about that. What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time, it's not that hard. Yeah, I know, I just asked. Uh, but, uh, there was something Eskel mentioned. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all. But it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of. Except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Hmm. Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you and Triss argue often? Not too much. Sorceresses and their vain glory. Though compared to others, Triss seems an angel. Thanks for backing me. Oh, I have something for you. You might find this meteorite useful. Hmm, thanks. Don't mention it. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. That will do, my friend. That will do. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witchers and forty students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Yeah, that that must be the flyer I found found upstairs with the uh, about people's people's hate against. It's just that not everyone is liking us. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No. But the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. Mm -hmm. We'll speak later. New quest, bring our secret. Hmm. Interesting. Skinning. Yeah, need to, need to get the corpse. Yeah, and then there was, there was something 
meteorite weapon upgrade. Piece of red meteorite that can be used by a smith to forge a sword. Three pieces of meteorite. Okay. So at, at least it seems that it's it's useful to talk. Talk to the characters. I got, got a new quest. I got that piece of meteorite. Well, I'm not sure if I if I would have gotten it. Okay, can't can't go there. If I'd gotten it uh, without without the discussion, but. Uh, Monsters. Read books to gain information about monsters and alchemical ingredients. Yeah, that was the. I found that one book about frighteners. Okay, now I have to have the ingredients. Uh, let's. Check the book. Entry to the journal. Okay. What was this uh, anti witcher pamphlet? Indeed, there is nothing more repulsive than those monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. As they are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. So yeah, no. Not everyone likes the Witchers, all right. So that's why that's why the fortress was attacked a long time ago, and then uh, then these these guys that came came here, they wanted those uh, those muta. Mute chance to uh, that uh, the witchers use in the witchers use in the in the path when they are doing their training. Just admiring the view a bit. Barrel. Barrel. There. More beer, more flint. That's it. On the outside. to talk to Lambert about uh, no actually I just need to make the potion now right find Vesemir meditate and prepare the potion yes hmm? where are Lambert and Eskel upstairs Lambert's in the library and Eskel's taking Triss to her room. Mm -hmm. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. Left click on the vial. So formula and it chooses the ingredients, then I mix it. Take the 
potion. Then I need to meditate when it mixes it. Okay. Witcher George slaying the dragon. This one. Witcher George. Slaying a dragon. Hmm. I wonder if I'll be doing that. Hmm. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Still looks great. Is there any... Any other remarks? Before I head upstairs. So yeah, the, as the witchers train themselves to be few slayers of the beasts, they do it, do it for the money, but also to Defend those that can't. Makes sense here. Okay, so upstairs. Is it wolf? Okay, there was nothing more about the potions. Any thoughts on the attackers? Amateurs. If not for the mage and the frightener, we'd have beaten them blindfolded. But they had a mage and a frightener. They robbed us and killed Leo. True, but we'll find them. Leo said he almost defeated you. We were sparring when that storm arrived. My medallion jerked so hard I almost fell. The vice saw an opening. Uh, he certainly had potential. Then Marigold appeared, shaking, delirious. She insisted we chase the wild hunt. Vesemir agreed. He always had a soft spot for her. You dislike Triss? She's too pretentious for my taste. Can you tell me about the fighting styles witchers use? The art of combat involves three traditional sword fighting styles, plus a few variations designed for combating monsters. Start with the basic styles. Kier Marin is the wolf school. Old Vesemir always made sure we trained more as warriors than mages, though we also learned the signs. Witches employ three fighting styles. There's Adan Enye, the fiery dancer, which we call the fast style. The Viroledin Nefde Fendlediv, the group style. And the Temerian Devil, the strong style. Which style do you want to hear about? The fiery dancer sounds interesting. The legendary elven swordsman and poet Nisail created it. 
basing a system of steps and cuts on his observations of wildcats, especially the ocelots that elven rulers used as palace guards. The fiery dancer favors speed and agility over strength of blows. Opponents simply don't have the time to strike back. The ideal swordsman is a flame that cannot be hurt and inflicts wounds each time it is touched. Isael himself wrote that. The style is popular among the elven aristocracy. Which style do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Viraledin style. Literally translated, it is the Nine Sun Sword style. The swordsman of Viraledo developed it as a method for tackling several opponents through complex slashing sequences. They say masters of this style can fight nine opponents simultaneously. Which style do you want to hear about? Temerian Devil sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds poetic, but there's little or no philosophy involved. Devised by Temerian Landsknechts, simple men. It's best against heavy armored opponents. Which style do you want to hear about? I think I've heard enough. All right. Can you tell me about the fighting styles witchers use? The art of combat involves three traditional sword fighting styles, plus a few variations designed for combating monsters. Yeah, about those, those monsters. I wouldn't mind hearing about monster fighting techniques. You noticed we carried two swords? That's because some monsters are immune to steel. A normal sword won't cut them. For instance? Werewolves, vampires, genies, and other magical beasts. The techniques for fighting with a silver sword derive from traditional swordsmanship, but there are a few essential differences. No parries and repasts, mainly steps, evasive moves, spins, and other acrobatics. Hmm. I don't think I have a second sword. I'll be in trouble if I don't get my memory back. You'll be all right, Wolf. Your body will recall all it needs to. Certain things you never forget. Trust your intuition when choosing your fighting style. The devil's best against Kikimors, Graviers, and Fledders. The fiery dancer is absolutely superb against bar guests and ghouls. And the Veriladen? Anything that attacks in groups, but initially limited to dramas. Thanks, Lambert. No problem, Wolf. We'll speak later. Yeah, I don't have the silver sword yet. Probably get it at some point. Sure, if I can find one in the armory. Skills training. I guess, I guess the bandit stole the silver swords. How can I help? Uh, you don't know anything about. Silver sword. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Does everyone pass the? F Unfortunately, not. Yeah, we talked about that already. I think I've heard enough. How can I help? Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, we talked about that too. I'll talk to Vesemir. So no silver sword. I'll take the potion, the trees. to be the most exquisite red wine. 
be our, be our drink touch. More cherry beer. Chris. helps that was terrible i dreamt lambert was with me he was staring at me saying things like don't go dying on me marigold calling me big-headed i'm so glad to see you what i'm glad you're feeling better i know we should set out but i have a feeling we won't be back perhaps ever won't you stay just a bit longer with me hmm I have a feeling where this will lead us. I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Sorceress Triss. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Hmm. Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? It's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? Hmm. A little casual sex and then just... just go. Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, well... Driss... Driss... Hmm. Well, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to... Kinda knew that was coming. The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? I need to do something. I'll come back and get you when I'm ready. Yeah, I wish I could remember why Triss is so important. Level gained. Yeah, I'm... I'm... <clears throat> There is some some emotion between Triss and Geralt, but going going to bed and having sex that fast is uh, hmm. well maybe they maybe they had that kind of relationship. I don't know. 
Can I meditate here? For the level? No. Hmm. Yeah, as a, as promised, there will be blood and violence, drugs and sex. Not much shown there, but anyway. Well, kind of, kind of nice that they they took care of that now. So there is not like whole whole game to play before that happens. Leveling up. Talents. Character development. You earn talents. Use to upgrade character features. Mm -hmm. Choose among highlighted enhancements. Commit the joints is clicked our class. Hmm. So uh talents, bronze talents, silver talents, gold talents. Ah, okay, I can learn that one. Story ability. Okay, so I'm... Oh yeah, so I got that already. Dexterity. Stamina. Level 2. Ah, okay. Intelligence. Motion rule. Sign intensity. Hmm. Signs. Stun. Hmm, I don't know about this character development so much that I maybe... Maybe I'll just uh, put points. But, uh, hmm. Yes, so I think I can kind of choose to go... Go as a melee fighter or more of as a, as a well not mage but uh, focusing on the signs. I, I think this uh, yeah the strength increases my vitality. That's a uh, dexterity, dodging and resistances, stamina. Endurance, the resistance is as well, intelligence, sign intensity, so yeah, the power, sign powers, and then these, these are the different, making, making the sign more powerful, so there's this art, the knockback, and then I'll learn these signs from those stones along the way, I believe. So that will be... Igni. Gwen. Well, maybe I'll, I'll learn the signs later. What about these? 
Okay, so it adds adds more damage. Bleeding. Adds more attacks to the sequence. Silver sword. Okay, so this is the fighting the monsters. All right. Um, hmm. Let's take more more vitality. Okay, that requires silver talent. Position. Very bonus. Regeneration. Brawl. Fist fights. Fist fights. Hmm. Buzz. Uh, immunity to pain. True crit. Midnight until dawn, so at night, getting better, better bonuses. Deflect arrows. Well, that sounds useful. So I have four talents. Just this more of intelligence. Herbalism. Monster lore. Ocean brewing. That air voice sounds... Sounds something I'll probably want to do. Gradient thing. Okay, so there are the alchemy. Alchemy skills are here on the intelligence. In addition to making the signs more powerful. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that herbalism will be useful. So, uh, let's go for that. Oil preparation. Creation of oils. Well, maybe I won't need to go that far yet. What about this? Student. Ah, it makes it 180 degrees. So it'll be more useful for against groups. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that'll be nice. That will be nice. Yeah. Okay, and then I need to meditate to make those changes. I think the this uh, tutorial part tutorial part of the first mission here at the Kair Mohen Morhen Kair Morhen will uh, end as I talk to Vesemir. So yeah, let's let's see what happens. Part 
for that. Uh, you'll need to tune in f on the next episode. As uh, I just checked, I've been gone, gone for a bit over an hour already. So this will make a great episode as it is. Uh, well, not not much happened there. I learned to learn to make the potions. I leveled up, so that took a while as I. As I looked at the different options, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, join in on the next episode of the of this blind let's play of The Witcher, and uh, I think we finally get out of this fortress and onto the world and uh, start start finding out what uh, what Geralt is made of. So uh, thanks for watching and bye.